this experiment we are going to see a demonstration of combustion and its relationship with air for the simple experiment we need three candles of varying heights a tall glass jar and a plate or a flat surface to place the candles on place the three candles in the center of a plate or any flat surface make sure they are close enough so that you can place the jar over them light the candles and carefully invert the glass jar over the candles now watch and observe the order in which the candles get extinguished did you notice the inside of the jar becomes foggy and water droplets are formed on the jar as the candles extinguish a candle flame uses oxygen present in the air for combustion and releases carbon dioxide and water vapor when covered with a glass the amount of oxygen available to the candles is limited and the carbon dioxide gas and water vapor released cannot escape when all the oxygen inside the glass is consumed the flames extinguish at room temperature carbon dioxide is denser and heavier than oxygen but the carbon dioxide and water vapor released from the combustion are hot and hence less dense they rise up to fill the top of the jar as more and more carbon dioxide is generated from the combustion the limited oxygen is pushed down and down and only available at the bottom of the jar the oxygen supply is cut first to the tallest candle followed by the second tallest candle and then the shortest candle hence the shortest candle burns for the longest time inside the jar